Hello, Capsuleers from around the world. This is CCP Fozzie, joined by Elise Randolph for today, and uh, we are bringing you the second day of the 12th Alliance Tournament. I want to say hello to everyone, Elise. Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is day two. We're starting off with Fearless Empire versus Road Capel. Uh, Road will be in blue. Fearless will be in red. And we have two really uh, interesting setups here. Uh, Road Capel bringing what has become their trademark over recent tournaments. Lots and lots of nuding power. They've got double Armageddon, double Eos, uh, Anero Celestis, piloted by former CSM member Ripper Tag, triple Tower, triple Kestrel. And they're up against what is really an update on the uh, traditional Mimitar rush from Fearless Empire. Yeah, exactly. Fearless brought a, a Slepnir team as their core, supported by Worms, which have a great tournament track record uh, today or this week, and Caracals, which are really great anti-support ships. Mm -hmm. Now, both sides have uh, come in sort of spread out with some of their close or uh, heavy ships in close, and already the match has begun with a very, very fast knocking off the field of one of the Kestrel for Road Capel, Fearless Empire yeah. getting the first blood immediately. Indeed, and Road is focusing on these worms, but this worm by Kane is tanking really hard, but bam, poof goes a Caracal and a worm all in one shot. Mm -hmm. These drones are nothing to mess with. Yeah, knocking off the Caracals and Worms early means uh, it's a lot of the vulnerable DPS from the Fearless Empire. The Slepnirs are going to take a lot of uh, pounding before they go down, but the Caracals and Worms are going to be much, much easier to take down. And they've also got newts across all of the Slepnirs. These Armageddons have their newts applied to them, which means that as time goes on, they're going to lose their gang links. As we see now, the uh, um, Scimitar for uh, Fearless Empire dropping as well. Very, very that fast. That is a, uh, a bit of a disaster. Broken <laughs> Pell made the right choice and went straight for the Fearless a scimitar and it dropped like a sack of potatoes which is, is not good it was damp so it had to come in close unfortunately when it came in close it uh it ate a little bit of pain and now fearless are just going straight for this again thinking they can just plow through with the dps they have Maybe I, it'll work. It's possible, but the Geddon is go, isn't going down very quickly at all. They've actually got split fire. We're seeing damage to both of the Geddons. Pretty significant damage, actually. They're both um, eating into armor a little bit, but that's not what you want to be doing. You need to focus your damage to be able to get through the reps of the Aneros. Yeah, this is quickly turning into a bit of a disaster for this poor Fearless Empire team. Uh, Rote looking, looking pretty good with this setup. Yeah. I mean, it's a setup that you would expect them to bring. But hey, they're, they're executing with it, right? They executed with it very well. The very fast kills, the Caracal and Worm, and then hitting that Scimitar right away. And while keeping their Nero's alive. I mean, they're up against some very fast tackle and DPS in the Worms and the Caracals. And those would be ships that would be very dangerous to the Nero's. But uh, the Nero's pilot was able to keep himself out of danger as we see the first Slepnir drop for Fearless Empire. Yeah, this is, this is all but over, unfortunately. It looks like Rote only lost one ship. And that was the one that accidentally warped to the beacon at zero. Uh, this setup by Rote... So smart. Like, the execution so smart. Uh, everything about it. I don't, I don't know how Fearless could have uh, done any more than they did. Yeah, I mean, Fearless brought ships that um, aren't too vulnerable to newts, to their credit. If they expected to have some Armageddons up against them, bringing Slepnirs and Caracals and Worms is a pretty decent choice. Uh, but unfortunately, when you lose your Scimitar that quickly, you're, there's just nothing you can do against the DPS of two Eoses and two Armageddons. Yeah, I mean, Fearless had the right idea. They had a carries to counter damp that Slasses, but these armor kestrels, you gotta you gotta assume that there's a bunch of damps in the mid slots of these things. So even it looks like they only have one damp ship, they've got some secret hidden damp ships in these kestrels. Yeah, and you can actually see the control bar for Roque Capel as they only have one caracal to uh, focus on is actually right up to the edge of the chart. Uh, they have a ton of damps on this caracal, and I'm sure his <laughs> lock range is like two kilometers at the moment. As that GMs is go up in local, there's no way that he's going to even be able to get a revenge kill on a frigate before he goes down. Well, very quick first match, but uh, it was still a good showing by Rote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, again, the fast execution, picking their primaries very well, recognizing when the scimitar was vulnerable. Uh, they uh, obviously had a good target caller behind the helm, and uh, they'd obviously practiced this setup quite well. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And their flagship is the Geddon, I think. So maybe they've got like a steroid out version of this team for later mm -hmm. on in the match. Yeah, I mean, uh, if the Fearless Empire had been expecting newts, they might have tried to ban out the Armageddon, which they didn't. They ended up banning the Ishtar and the Dominics instead. But if they had banned the Armageddon, that might have actually just triggered Rote to bring in their flagship instead, because flagships are immune to bans. Yeah, absolutely. And I wonder how the dynamic changes with only one Geddon on this team, even if it's a Super Geddon. 
Yeah, well, that might be something we'll get to see if Roat uh, is confident in the setup going forward. They might bring it again in the future, and they might try to bring it with the flagship, and we could get a look at that. But in the meantime, uh, that is the end of the match, and uh, that Roat Capel will go on through the winner's bracket, and Fearless Empire will be knocked into elimination matches next week. We're going to send you to some player ads, and then be back in just a few minutes for Noir Mercenary Group versus Scum. Oh. 